Hello students, how are you all? I hope you all are safe. Please be safe, okay? Please clean your hands, have healthy food, okay? Don't go out. As you all know, the cases in Jubail are increasing a lot, right? So please be careful, okay? So today, I am with the third and the final section of this chapter. So, tell me what all you learned till now. Let's see, okay? The first topic which you learned was about perpendicular bisector. Right? Yes. So, what is a perpendicular bisector? Yes, a line which cuts another line into two equal parts and it makes an angle 90 degree. Correct? Yes. Then, angle bisector. What was an angle bisector? Same thing. Bisector means it divides into two equal parts. So, angle bisector means yes, it will divide the angle into two equal parts. Correct? Yes. Then what did we learn? We learned about triangle construction. Right? Yes. So, what all were the types of triangle we learned? Yes, we learned how to construct triangle when three sides are given. We learn how to construct a triangle when two sides and one angle was given. And also we learned to construct a triangle when one side and two angles were given. Correct? Yes. So for all this, we have steps of construction, all these things. Correct? Yes. So today's topic is about quadrilateral construction. Okay, so what is the meaning of quadrilateral? You have already learned what is quadrilateral and what are the types and properties of this different types of quadrilaterals in chapter 11, right? Yes, so the first type of quadrilateral is the basic quadrilateral construction you will learn. So it will be a four-sided figure, any four-sided figure. They will give just some sides and angles you need to construct. They will not specify any name. Okay. Then you know already there are very many types of quadrilateral. Correct? Yes. So you will be learning only one type of quadrilateral which is important for you. And that is a parallelogram. What is a parallelogram? What is the important property of a parallelogram? Yes. It's like a rectangle only. What it is? Yes. Opposite sides are equal and parallel. Correct? For rectangle, the difference between rectangle and parallelogram is for rectangle, yes, the sides are 90 degrees. For parallelogram, it's not like that. It's just the opposite sides are equal. Okay? So, like length and breadth it is. Okay? So, shall we move to the first one? Okay. So, we'll see the first one. How to draw a quadrilateral. Okay, so I'll give you one question. We'll see what is it. Construct a quadrilateral PQRS such that PQ is equal to 6.5 cm, QR is equal to 4.8 cm, RS equal to 8.5 cm, PQR that means angle Q. You can see there is one arrow mark on top that means that particular angle is 75 degree qrs that means angle r is 98 degree okay so we'll see okay so here what is given pq is 6.5 qr is 4.8 rs is 8.5 pqr that is angle q is 75 degree QRS, that is angle R is 90 degree. Okay. So, first I will start drawing the baseline which is PQ. So, the baseline is drawn using your ruler. So, draw a line of 6.5 centimeter length and name it as PQ. Like this. Okay. Now, you have angle Q is 75 degree. So, Using your protractor, keep it at Q and mark the angle 75 degree like this and 
just draw the angle like draw a line like this which is 75 degree okay now you have qr is 4.8 that means a length of 4.8 is there from q to point r so you will take on your compass 4.8 cm like this and what you will do yes you will keep it on q like this and just you will draw an arc on the line drawn the angle line which you already drew so you will get a point over there and that point is point r and it is 4.8 cm okay now you have qrs so angle r is 90 degrees so again you will keep your protractor on r and the angle like this mark the angle like this 98 degree and then draw a line like this okay so again you have rs as 8.5 so how you did it from q similar way you will do it from r measure you will measure 8.5 and you will draw an arc on the line so you will measure 8.5 like this and you will keep it on r and you will draw a arc like this on the line so the point over there will be yes it is s so you got point s now join ps like this like this so you will get the required quadrilateral pqrs okay so one thing i want to tell you is the steps of construction which i am going to give now that thing you can write in your own words okay you should just be clear with the concept that's all how to draw it not only for this for angle construction triangle construction or for angle bisector perpendicular bisector everything the procedure should be clear that's it you can write your own way even this naming and all pqrs i took pq as the base you can take any other but you will you should be able to draw it that's it okay so how you are planning that's how you write the steps that's it so i have planned like this so i will write the steps according to my drawing okay so we will see the steps of construction for this particular drawing okay so the question was construct the quadrilateral pqrs and pq qr rs pairs given and two angles were given okay so what did we do first yes we draw the line pq so draw line pq 6.5 cm using your ruler then what did we do yes we measured angle q right yes so since angle q is 75 degree using your protractor at q draw an angle 75 degree then we have the distance between q and r is 4.8 so what did we do yes since for q r equal to 4.8 with q r center and 4.8 at radius as radius using your compass you draw an arc on the line correct yes then what did what was the point yes it was marked as r then we know the same thing since r is 90 degree we measured using protractor at r we draw an angle 90 degree and we know the distance between r and s is 8.5 so on the drawn line we used r as center and 8.5 cm as radius and we cut an arc on the line and the that point which we got was marked as s so we got the four points so we joined it join ps the required quadrilateral pqrs was constructed correct yes so shall we move to the next one okay so the next one is parallelogram as i already told in the introduction so the question here is construct parallelogram abcd and they have given two sides ab and bc ab is given 8.5 bc is given 6.5 and one angle angle b abc means b is the angle and it's given 45 degree okay so only two sides are given it's a quadrilateral four sided figure so you should remember your parallelogram property in your mind okay what was the property opposite sides are equal okay 
So, we will be using that property while we draw. So, we will see how it is. Okay. So, how to draw a parallelogram? We will see it. So, AB is given, BC is given, angle B is given 45. So, first we will start with the baseline AB. So, using your ruler, draw a line of length 8.5 cm and mark it as AB. Like this, 8.5 cm. Okay. Now, angle B is what? 45 degree. So, what you will do? Yes, you will use your protractor and from B, you will mark 45 degree like this and you will draw a line like this yes yes like this you will draw a line now you know the distance between b and c what is this 6.5 so similar way which you did for quadrilateral you will take that measurement in your compass and you will draw an arc on the line so i took 6.5 centimeter on my compass and I draw an arc like this. And that point which we got is marked as C. Okay. Now we use the concept. AB and BC we got. So the opposite of AB is will be CD. So what will be CD? It is equal to AB. And CD. therefore CD is 8.5. And similarly AD. The opposite side of BC will be 6.5. So with this measurement and this concept we will draw the next okay so from c using 8.5 centimeter as radius you will draw an arc like this you will measure and you will draw the arc like this so you can mark if you want you can mark it as arc 1 or like that okay so next is from a ad is 6.5 so you will mark from a like this and you will cut that previously drawn arc so that you will get the point there and it will be marked as d and yes you will join c and d and you will join a and d so you will get the required parallelogram a b c d like this yes that's it. So, the thing is, you should use the concept of parallelogram. That should be clear in your mind. Okay. So, now according to this construction, we will write the steps of construction. Okay. So, as I told you, you can use your own procedure and do. That's it. Okay. But you should be able to get it exactly using compass and protractor. That's all. Okay. So, according to this, we will see what is the steps of construction. So, the steps are, the first question, the question is A, B, B, C, A, B, C. These are the three things which are given. So, the first one was we draw the line A, B and we marked it as 8.5 using your ruler. Then, we have the angle B, 45 degree. So, what did we do? Angle B is 45 degree. So, we use the protractor at B and we draw the angle 45. Then we have the distance between B and C as 6.5. So, using your compass with B as center and 6.5 cm as radius, you will draw an arc on the line of angle. So, that point which we got is C. Correct? Yes. So, now we are using the concept of parallelogram. So, as AB is equal to CD, taking C as center and you have, you know already know AB is 8.5. So, we use 8.5 as radius and we will draw an arc. That is the first arc which we draw. Then we will do the same thing from A because we have AD and BC same. So, BC is 6.5. So, from A you will use 6.5 as radius and we will cut the previously drawn arc and that point of intersection was marked as D. Correct? Yes. So, you got all the points. Now, yes, join it. That's all. So, join AD and you will get the required uh, parallelogram ABCD. Okay? Clear? So, I want you to do this very same problem which I have explained here 
and also i am giving you two assignment questions from exercise 12b question number 1 and question number 6 for your practice okay one is of construction of parallelogram one is of construction of quadrilateral okay practice this four question this two question and also the questions which we saw in the session okay so i hope you have already done the previous topics assignment questions and all and i want you to draw and practice then only you will be able to draw it okay if you if you just understand and you will if you just leave it you will not be able to draw it when a question is given and you already know there is no exam but don't think that okay exam is not there so why to study it's not like that this you are in level 6 and majority of the topics you are learning in this section will be continued in level 7 a uh, next version or the next part will be in level 7 so if you don't learn this you will not be able to understand the concepts when level 7 when you are in level 7 okay so this is the end of this chapter so i want everyone to go through all the topics which we learned through distance learning and also you already had your unit test so i ho i hope you have learned those two chapters at least so we have two chapters which were not taken for unit test not two some class will be two but some class it will be only one chapter because we did through distance learning four chapters so you have five chapters which are left behind so i want you to go through those five chapters properly i'll be giving you revision questions again i'm telling you even though there is no exam don't think that no need to study okay because in level 7 many of the chapters are continuation okay so i want you to learn at least at at home you can do your own revision your own kind of test i'll give revision questions don't see the answers do the answers and see the answers like that you do okay so i wish all my students best wishes and i hope we'll see you in the next session next academic year okay so once again thank you so much i'll be with the revision notes soon bye